Today we'll be discussing a very interesting halachic shayla, and that is which direction should one daven shmona esrei if you find yourself in a shul where the aron is not facing Mizrach. And we'll explain the entire question, exactly what the possibilities are. Before we begin, as always, this should not be relied upon for our halachic psak, and a rav should be consulted. So the Shulchan Aruch tells us in Simen Sadi Dalid that it's very important that when we dab in Shmona Esrei that we face Eretz Yisrael. The Shulchan Aruch says, B'kumul Azbala, when you stand up to Davin, in Mayaome B'chutz Laaretz, if you're standing outside of Israel, Yachzer Panov, Keneged Eretz Yisrael, you should face Eretz Yisrael. Be'chavin Gamli Yerushalayim, and you should have in mind to focus, to try to face Yerushalayim, Ule Mikdash, Ule Vesit Kachikachim, and eventually the concentration should go to the Kachikachim, and that applies for Eretz Yisrael as well. Um, which, in this way, in America, we face Mizrach, we face East, in order to face Yerushalayim. And it gets very complicated, what if you start Shemoneser and they're facing the wrong way? Fine. In addition, we all know that practically, we put the Aron Kodesh in Shul, housing the Sifri Torah, are also on the Eastern side. The reason for that is, very simple, because we're davening towards Mizrach, towards East, we want to put the Sefer Torah there so we can also daven towards the Sefer Torah. It's a nice thing, as opposed to having the Sefer Torah on the North side or on the South side or West, we put it East, that way we could daven to both at the same time. The question is though, what if you have a shul where they couldn't fit the Aron on the Eastern side, and they built the Aron on the South side, let's say. So now you have two choices. You could either face east, because that's the f- direction of Yushalayim, or you could actually face the Aron, which is not the direction of Yushalayim. And what's the best approach? So, I mean, right off the bat, you'd assume that you'd face um, you'd face east, because the point is to face Yushalayim, on the other hand. Practically, the Minig is also to face the Aron, so what do you do? You have to choose. So the Bir Alacha, the Mishnah Bura, and his Pirish Bir Alacha, Semin Kuf Nun, Divrei Hamas Choshehu was actually questioning this, and he's not sure. And he says the following: V'tzarech Ian, I'm not sure. B'mekomo Shepnei Hadochik, if you find yourself in a shul that because of the um, size issue, Iefshel Lehem B'shum Pan Lahamida B'Kais La Mizrach, they could not put the Aron on the eastern side. Mechrachem Lahamida B'Tzafrono B'Darom, and they had to put it in the north or the south side. Le'ezet Tzadi Spalu Akahol, which direction should you daven? In La Mizrach Mepnei Shu Neged Yishalayim, should you daven? In east, because that's the f- door, direction of Yishalayim, or maybe it's better to, to face the Aron Kodesh with the Sefer Torah. And the, the Bir Alacha doesn't know. Ends off, I don't know. Which is interesting, so it's clearly a question, right? The Mishabura wasn't sure. Now, although the Mishabura wasn't sure in his Pirish Bir Alacha, in his Pirish Mishabura, 56 Simonim earlier, he was positive, and he was confident about how to paskin. In Mishavura Simon Sadi Dalid, Sivkatan Tess, he writes the following Because we have to face the eastern wall, therefore the custom became to put the Aron with the Sefer Torah on the eastern wall. And that way we could have in, uh, we could also face the Aron. But if the Aron was not placed in Mizrach, you cover Bedarom. So first of all, Says the Mishabura, there's a big issue. This is just as a side point. If you're going to put the Aron in a wall, not, um, not uh, what do you call it, um, not east, you should not put it west because you don't want it to be that our backs are to it. And therefore, practically, if you can't get it on the eastern side, you're going to put it on the north or the south. And you shouldn't put the Sefer Torah, no matter what, it should never be on the western wall, because that way people's backs are going to be facing. Fine. Now, it says in the Mishra, the most important line, Even if the Aron is in a different direction, meaning the Aron is in the north side, not the eastern wall, so the Bir Halacha that I quoted earlier says, I don't know which direction to face. In his Pirish and Shabura, he says the following, You have to face Mizrach. Mizrach is the only wall that matters. So, what we have over here, just to summarize, the Bir Alacha wasn't sure, and now you have the the Mishabura who says that if you find yourself in a shul where the north, where the Aron is not in the eastern wall, 
Nevertheless, you should face the eastern wall because that's the direction of Yerushalayim. So it's really a contradiction. You have the Bir Alocha saying, I don't know. You have the same person in the Mishavura saying, I do know, so how do we follow? So Rav Vosner, in Shevet Alevi, in Truvis Chelek Yod Simen Chav, he was uh, asked about this contradiction, and he says that the real way we should rule is like the Mishabura, and that is to face the eastern wall. Um, first of all, he explains, very simple, the whole reason why we put the Aron in the eastern wall is because really you have to face Yushalayim. That's the major halacha. We put the Aron in the eastern wall just because uh, that way we could also face the Aron, but the major importance is to face the eastern wall, to face Yushalayim. And therefore... If you have the Oren in a different direction, you should still face Yerushalayim. Um, he does continue that if the Chazin, uh, if you'd say you're the Chazin, and the whole shul is facing the Aron in the north side, then it makes sense that you should, uh, you should follow as long as well. Um, there's one more halacha, and that is the Mishabura. The Mishabura in Simen Sif, Sif, Simen Tzadi Dalet Sifkat and Yud makes a very important distinction. He says, although he again rules in his Mishnah Bura that you should face east, and if the Aron is not east, you should nevertheless face east. He says, Habal haspal sham yispal etzad shat sibar mispalun achitzadi ponav lemizuch says in the Mishnah Bura. Well, this whole halacha that you should face east and not the Aron, that's only if you're an individual. But if you find yourself in a minion, and the whole minion is facing, let's say, south, you should also face south because it's important not to go against the tzibar. So you should face south, but push your head, tilt your head towards east. That's what he says. And the, the Arach HaSholchan adds... That if the Aron is in the north side or the south side, and the entire shul, again, they're not doing the right thing. They should be facing east, according to the Mishra, but you know what? The whole shul was making a mistake, and they're all facing south. And that one individual comes, and he knows this Mishra, and he says, I don't want to face like the minion is facing. I want to face the opposite. I want to face east. Says that, It is not appropriate to do so. Rather, you should go with the minion. Because he says, not only is it a problem of just not following what the tzibah is following, it could be even worse than that. Chas v'shalom, if you have an entire minion of, let's say, 30 people, and 30 people are bowing towards the south, because that's the way they're facing, the art is in the south, they're bowing towards the south, and one person comes in and he decides he's going to face east, and he's bowing towards east, chas v'shalom, it looks like there like are two gods, Khalila. that it looks like they're all davening to one person in the south, and I'm davening to one person in the east, chas v'shalom, umichzi kishter rishuyos, and it looks like there are two uh, people in charge, eli yispal shetzad Rather, you should face the Tzibar's direction, south or, or, or uh, north. But again, turn your body slightly, or as the Mishabura said, turn your head towards east. It says the Aruch HaShulchan, if you're davening alone, and not at the time when the minion is davening, then you're allowed to face east. Because again, then it's not a problem of, uh, of it appearing as if Chasasham there to God. So just to summarize, if you find yourself in a situation where the minion is uh, where we have the Sefer Torah is on the south side and not towards the east. So if you're an individual davening alone, you should face east. But if you find yourself with a minion that is all facing south, you should face south with them. Just turn your head towards east or turn your body slightly towards east, not in a way that it makes a large, uh, uh, like a large sign to others. All questions can be sent to avizakatinsky at gmail.com, A-V-I-Z-A-K-U-T-I-N-S-K-Y at gmail.com.